Hello friends, in today's video we will be discussing about quality control numericals and as a first part of this video we will be discussing the numericals related to the control charts for the variables. In this basically there are two types of charts one are the mean control charts and one are the range control charts. Now variables, what are variables? Variables are some data kind of a thing which we can actually measure and for that we have two types of charts, mean chart and range chart. Now this mean chart and this range chart, mean chart is generally denoted as the x bar charts like this, x bar chart and the range charts they are generally mentioned as r charts, alright. Now how to solve the mean chart? In the mean chart, there are two things. One is the upper control limit and one is the lower control limit. Now, what are these? Let's suppose if I uh, like in this, these control charts, they follow the normal distribution, distribution, right? And in this normal distribution, they have a bell shaped curve and this is the center value mean value and any value moving beyond away from this is the standard deviation right and the deviation it has certain range like 1 sigma it can be 2 sigma and it can be 3 sigma right and the control charts they have basically this kind of a thing let's suppose this is the LCL and this is the upper control limit and this is the central value control limit and we are saying that majorly all the deviations it should be around the mean value it should see there is a limit to tolerate anything in the organizations also when they are manufacturing the errors the defects they can be tolerated to a particular limit and what is that limit this limit is the upper limit and the lower limit if the process is showing the deviation out of these two limits that means your process is going out of control you need to do something about that that is the main purpose behind the control charts and for the control charts we find out what is the minimum limit what is the maximum limit and we generally observe the process performance according to these limits that if the performance will be going beyond these points that means there is some problem all right so this is about the control limits, uh, lower limit and upper limit and for every type we have certain formulas like for example upper control limit in case of mean chart is x double bar plus z into sigma x bar. x double bar is the grand mean or you can say the average of the sample means alright. z is the standard normal deviate. What is the normal deviation? Are they following plus minus 1 sigma? or they have plus minus 2 sigma or they have plus minus 3 sigma all right now next this is something which is standard right this is according to the normal distribution fine now next thing is sigma x bar what is sigma x bar sigma x bar is standard deviation of distribution of sample means and how do we calculate it sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by under root of n sigma is the standard deviation which will be specified to you in the question and what is the n? n is the sample size. Okay. Now in case if in the question you are not given the standard deviation, this value is not given to us, then how do we find out the upper limit and lower limit in case of mean chart? That is x double bar plus a2 into r bar and x double bar minus a2 into r bar. Now what is R bar? This is the average range like we calculate the range of every sample and when, then we calculate the mean value and then we have A2. A2 is a factor variable for which the value is taken from the table that standard table I will show you in the coming slides. Now first of all let's try one example with the help of this formula wherein we will be given the standard deviation also and we have to find out the control limits for the upper uh, for the mean chart all right now this is the question a quality inspector took five samples each with four observations now there are five samples one two three four five and in every sample there are four observations that means your n is 4 
Now the analyst computed the mean of each sample and then calculated the grand mean. All the values are in minutes. Use this information to obtain three sigma control limits. Now from here we are clear what is uh, Z. Z is three. It is known from the previous experience that the standard deviation is 0.02. Now what was the formula of the upper limit? Upper limit we had X double bar, Z sigma X bar. Now we in the question you are given Z value. In the question you are given the Z value. And over here if you see in the question itself they have calculated X bar. X bar is this sum of all the values. Sum of all these values divided by 4. Alright. And similarly for second sample you will do it. You will do it for these. So you will get x bar for first sample x bar for second sample x bar for third sample x bar for fourth and x bar for five you will get these are the five mean values of all the five samples and if you want to calculate x double bar that will be all sum of all these values divided by five right so you will get the grand mean value and sigma is this and you have n also we can calculate sigma x bar that is sigma divided by under root of n that is 0 0.02 divided by 4 that is going to give you 0 0.01 so if i do it over here x double bar is equal to 12.10 plus 12.12 plus 12.11 plus 12.10 plus 12.12 divided by 5. Alright. And Z is 3. Sigma X bar is 0 0.01. And if I will do the calculation of uh, this X double bar, it will come out to be 12.11. Now what I have to do, I have to substitute these values in the formula that is 12.11 plus Z is 3 and sigma X bar is 0 0.01 and lower control limit is 12.11 minus 3 0 0.01. This is shown in the next slide also. It will be like this. So your upper limit is this, lower limit is this. Alright, I hope it is clear to all of you. Now the next if you people remember, I mentioned you one more formula that if in case you are not given the sigma, if sigma is not given to us, then you have to refer this table wherein the formula was x double bar plus a2 into r bar, x double bar minus a2 into r bar. Now this value of a2 will be taken from this table. All right. Now, and that will be taken with respect to this n value. In the question we had n is equal to 4. And for n is equals to 4, the value of a2 is 0 0.73. Alright. So we have this value now. a2 is 7, 0 0.73. We don't know what is r bar. We are not aware about this. So let's see what is r bar. For calculating r bar, what we have to do. What is range? If someone can tell me, range is maximum value minus minimum value. Alright. Now, if I say in the first sample, if I say in the first sample, the maximum value is 12.11 and the minimum value is 12.08. So, the range of first sample is 12.11 minus 12.08 which is giving me 0 0.03. Similarly, if I will calculate the second sample range, maximum value is 12.15 and minimum value is 12.10. So, if I do the calculation to this value like this, it is 0 0.05. If I calculate R3, it will be 12.15 minus 12.09 which is giving me 0 0.06. And if I calculate R4, that will be 12.12. Guys, I am not doing anything special. I am just subtracting the minimum value from the maximum value in every sample. That is what I am doing, right? 0 
so i have calculated the range of all the five samples now my dear friends all of you know how to calculate the mean value of any variable so we will do add all these r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r5 divided by 5 you will get the mean value of the range right and using the mean value of the range the values can be calculated like if i say using the uh, like calculator if i do it this is a uh, 358614182023 this is 0.23 divided by 5 now if i do it using calculator 0.23 divided by 5 it is giving me 0.046 all right now my formula was upper control limit is x double bar plus A two into R bar, x double bar is twelve point one one plus A two was zero point seven three, and my R bar is zero point zero four six. Similarly, lower control limit it will be calculated as twelve point one one minus zero point seven three into zero point zero four six. So this is how using two different formulas you can calculate the control limits of the mean chart. all right now the next chart which we have to do is the range control charts now range control charts or the r charts they are used when we have to monitor the dispersion of the process that means they are sensitive to the changes in the process dispersion all right now what is the formula of upper limit and lower limit in this d4 r bar d3 r bar now d4 and d3 again these are the again these are the factor variables d4 and d3 these are again the factor variables and for this you have to see the value of here d3 and d4 like for n is equal to 4 if i continue the same question which we were doing in the question for n is equal to 4 d3 value is 0 and d4 value is 2.28 right so d4 is 2.28 and the range which we calculated average range it was 0.046 and it was 0 into 0.046 so when i'll do the calculation in this uh, uh, 2.28 into 0.046 it is giving me 0.105 and this value is 0 so this is the limit of uh, control limit of the range charts all right now in this video what we have learned let's have a quick summary that we had done the mean chart these are the formulas for the mean charts fine and this is the table from where you have to see the values of all the factor variables and this is the formula of range charts so guys this was all about the control charts for the variables portion In my next video we will be discussing about the control charts for attributes like the p chart and the c chart so stay tuned to my channel if you people like my video then please do do subscribe to my channel and mention your views in the comment section thank you